Hello, it's Christina Dune. It's time for your Project Runway New Zealand, Season 1, Episode 2 Recap. Well, last time we saw Ben take the win and Nicole walked. Well, this time around, Massey says uh, since he was on the bottom last time, he really needs to focus. Uh, Georgia tells them they will go to Sylvia Park for some inspiration. Uh, they get there. Andreas tells them that their challenge brief calls for the contestants to, to design a contemporary street style look for the runway. Well, he then throws them a curveball. Not only did they have to shop for a piece to integrate to their look, but then afterwards he says, pass that to the left. Oh boy. Well, they're going to have to use other people's choices to integrate into their garments. And it has to be visible as well. Well, later on, Andreas goes around, gives input on their designs and progress. Uh, we have model fittings and the usual, you know, just craziness ensues in the workroom. But finally, runway day. Andreas tells the contestants to use the Kiwi property wall, uh, accessory wall, thoughtfully. The models go off to Maybelline makeup and Schwarzkopf hair. And now it's time for the runway. Well, First, Georgia makes Massey a bit nervous by reminding him about being on the bottom. <laughs> and along with Sally Ann and Benny, guest judge James Dobson, founder of the design and designer for Jimmy D, uh, will take a look at all their styles. Well, up first is Carrie. He seemed happy. My personal taste says this is a fusion of clown and jockey wear. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to wear uh, tear away clown pants, but I'm sure there's someone out there who would dig this. Maybe a jockey. I don't know. But... It's his thing. Caitlin, another really cute outfit this week. Leggings and jacket, really cute. She could sell that tomorrow in any shop. Bo, uh, Bo's uh, blouse I thought was beautiful. I love the shape, uh, those awesome sleeves. I would probably wear a different pant or a skirt with it, but I love the drama of it. Matt, well done, Matt. After his non-cocktail dress from last week, I'm glad to see that he met the brief this week, and he did a great job. Judy, cute outfit, jacket's adorable, shorts maybe better on a tween, but still cute. Uh, top looks a bit unresolved underneath that jacket. Up next, Massey, wow, he knocked it out of the park on this one. Well done, loved it. And by unzipping the cape, the entire look just changed. It was really cool. Then we have Jess, her giant coat uh, I thought looked cool. Uh, I'm still trying to work out her aesthetic. I haven't quite got there yet. Ben, uh, of course, he had immunity, but the judges really seemed to like his uh, thing. So far, both garments he's done look kind of ratty or shoddy to me, but I guess that's the look. The judges obviously favor him, and rumors were about that he's actually friends with guest judge uh, Grubisha from last week when he took the win, which, you know, I kind of had a feeling, but that's just me. Um, then we have Beth. Poor Beth. They gave her a hard time. Um, I don't think they get her. I, I didn't think it was that bad, but I don't think that they just have quite figured her out yet. Uh, Lenon, I don't even know what to say about this garment. I mean, it looked well made, but it's certainly not my aesthetic. Uh, Misty, I loved this. I thought it was really dramatic. Good job. Uh, Benny, cute. Colorful and fun. Well done. And Camille, cute. Uh, a bit unresolved, but wearable. All right, well then, Georgia reminds us that Ben has immunity. And then Judy, Massey, Ben, Beth, Lennon, and Camille are called forward. The rest are excused as safe. So, of course, the six I just named represent the best and the worst scores. Well, the judges take a look at their garments then. Judy, they say, nice sleeve detail in the jacket. They aren't thrilled with the shorts. Uh, Massey, uh, they unzip the cape for the completely different look. The judges think he pushed himself this week. And I knew that once he stopped stressing and just remembered to just do him and not overthink things, I, you know, I said he'd be fine. And sure enough, there he is. Ben, a uh, denim jumpsuit. Uh, they love this. Uh, they really like him. Again, not my thing, but they say it's memorable. Um, but hey. It's that's not my thing, but it's somebody's it is. Beth explains her aesthetic, but the judges just aren't feeling it. Uh, Lenon says uh, the dress is androgynous, can be worn by anyone. The underdress isn't popular. Uh, she gave them their shadow, though, but we don't all stand in the shadows, do we? Camille begins to cry. She's overwhelmed, which I can't blame. You know they're put under so much pressure. She says her outfit is based on her friend who's a DJ. It's a bit unfinished, but it's cute. Massey's told he stepped up this week. 
So, of course, he takes the win. Uh, Camille moves on. Ben moves on. Judy moves on. And left, uh, the last two left are Beth and Lenon. Who will win and who will walk? Well, Beth gets to move on and Lenon will walk. Well, next time, you know what? It looks like it's going to be an unconventional challenge. Join us again next week. Project Runaway airs on Monday nights at 730 on TV2. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.